Welcome back guys, this is another SEO case study on a new website today. This website we have had for approximately 18 months now and it is ranking for over 5,000 keywords. So when people are asking me, is blogging dead? Definitely not, especially if you are doing the correct foundational work to begin with. And this is a screenshot of the Google Search Console. So we have had 15.6 thousand clicks through to the website over the past 16 months, 2.2 million impressions. And as you can see, we are growing month on month and we have also survived the helpful content update, the core algorithm update. If anything, we've actually went up since the helpful content and the previous core algorithm updates as well. So now I'm gonna show you how the actual strategy works and what we have actually done with the website. So this is an article on the Fat Rank website and it's essentially talking about how to monetize your website. So ways to monetize a website. Now, some of you guys might be affiliates, some of you guys might be doing Google display ads, so you guys are writing how-to articles and you're essentially betting on the fact that people will land on your website and essentially stay on your website and view as many ads on your website. Now, there are different ways of monetizing websites, so that's one thing to bear in mind when we are always looking at case studies. Now, this one website is a rank and rent website. 15,600 clicks isn't that much, especially if some of you guys are Google Display guys um, and you guys are probably doing 100,000 clicks a month. Now, that being said, the 15,600 clicks has generated me just over 25,000 pounds, so approximately 30,000 US dollars. Um, and that's over the span of like 16, 18 months. So Again, it's probably doing about two grand a month, so it's not bad earnings wise. Um, and just from a cost point of view, the website has probably cost us about six or seven thousand pound to essentially build out. So we are well in the profit when it comes to actually building out the websites. Now, the reason why I, ha I have this page up, it's a very good resource. I will have it in the actual description of this video but it's talking about how you can essentially monetize your website. So affiliate marketing, accepting sponsored posts, display ads, e-commerce shop, selling ad space, selling an online course or paid membership group, selling a service. So you guys might be consultants and you might want to be scaling out your consultancy website or your coaching website. You can always do that. You can rent out your pixel, which is not um, spoken about widely, but say for example, this is fat rank. There's a lot of entrepreneurs and SEO guys that land on this website. Now, what James can actually do for this website is essentially say, hey, I'm willing to rent out the pixel on fat rank so people can run um, retargeting ads to my audience and he could, can essentially earn two, three thousand um, pound a month just by doing that. Uh, donations, content behind paywalls, setting up events. So some of you guys might be having a mastermind um, I obviously do have a mastermind myself. So you can obviously set up events, consultant services, lead generation, which is what we have been doing. So a rank and rent model or a pay per lead. Um, build a database to nurture potential clients, build subscribers, mailing list, and then flip websites. So there are multiple ways of monetizing websites. Now that we've covered all the ways of monetizing a website, I'm now gonna go into actually how we scaled out this website. What we have here is just a blank Google Sheet. And essentially what we want to start doing is populating this Google Sheet with some articles that we want to go after. However, what we want to do is essentially prioritize these articles based on keyword difficulty and also zero search volume. But the tool that I am going to use for my keyword research is Keyword Chef. They do have a free trial so you can always check it out and test out before you actually end up buying it. I do believe it's pretty cheap for the credits as well. Um, that is $97 a month. Um, or no, sorry, it's $29 a month for 5,000 credits. 5,000 credits is probably gonna be way more than enough than what we need for this style of website. So what we want to do is set it up to have the geo set to whatever geo you are in. We are gonna do United States, click save, and then we're gonna set it to wildcard. And then what we're searching for is lawyer for, and then star. And what we'll do is click search, now this will take a couple minutes. Essentially what we have done is it's going to go and look at people also ask and also the Google suggest and give us suggestions based on what the wildcard is. How the wildcard feature works, just so you guys understand, is what we have done is we have essentially told Keyword Chef to go and look at the Google suggest 
and come back with any results that it can find with that string. So what we've done is lawyers for, and then it's gonna go through all the alphabets. So lawyers for accidents, lawyers for DUI, lawyers for um, free, etc., cetera, etc., cetera. and it's going to come back with essentially a load of pages that we need on our website. Now, if we look at this, so can you file a custody without a lawyer? Can you file a divorce without a lawyer? Can you file guardianship without a lawyer? These are all articles that we will essentially want on our website. So by default, it's come back with 627 articles. Now, again, a lot of these articles might not be relevant. So what we'll want to do is uncheck them and then potentially click on cost. So anything that has cost, we want to see. So average cost for will by lawyer, cost for a lawyer on retainer, cost for a lawyer to review contract, cost of a lawyer for divorce, cost of a lawyer for K-1 visa. These are all articles that we need to have on our website. Now, for example, how much does a lawyer cost in Kenya? That's probably not suitable for our website. How much does a lawyer cost in Ontario? If you're in the US, you might not essentially serve Ontario because it's in Canada. So we will uncheck that. How much does it cost to retain a lawyer? How much does a lawyer cost? Power of attorney lawyer cost. What is the cost of a will by a lawyer? Once you have a selection of keywords that you essentially want, you can essentially just copy and paste these to our Google Sheet. So what I will essentially do is copy these, paste these here and shift them around. You can also export these as well. So one thing that I will be doing is, for example, file. I want to see all the articles that it comes back with for file. And what we have here is a load of articles that we essentially need on our website. So we will click on get keywords and it will go to the next step. So that's just cost 80 credits to get those. So once we have clicked on get keywords, you will then see all of these articles with the search volume and the average search volume for over the past 12 months, the highs, the lows. So some of these keywords might be seasonal um, depending on the niche. If say, for example, you're going after some summer sports so like golf for example the high will be a lot higher and the low will be a lot lower in summertime and in, obviously in winter and stuff but once we have our keywords we can then export these to a csv or you can also copy and paste these um whichever way is the easiest for you what i'm just going to do is copy and paste these um, myself and then just paste them into here and then clean up the sheet a little bit so once we have all of our articles on our sheet, we'll then want to categorize the articles. So for example, somebody that's searching for the cost for a lawyer on retainer or a cost for a lawyer to review a contract, they're pretty much wanting to hire a lawyer. So they're pretty high up the funnel or bottom down the funnel. Um, so they are essentially one click away from essentially filling out their contact details and inquiring with you. Whereas how to file a how to file for divorce in Texas without a lawyer, these are more educational blog posts. So for example, the these articles here would be in a separate category to my cost of a lawyer. What I would do here is I would set up a separate category for how to file and anything that is got mentioned how to file, I would set up in a separate category and I would make certain that all of these are internally linking to one another as well. So that's how I would set up my website from start to finish. And then for the actual content production, I'm going to show you how I would be bulk generating all my articles and it takes literally less than 10 minutes from start to finish. So this is autoblogging.ai and I love using this tool. Disclaimer, I do own a share of this tool. However, if I didn't believe in the tool, I would not have invested into the tool. Now, if we actually log in, we do have a load of different modes at the top. We have quick mode, pro mode, godlike mode, Amazon reviews, free tools, etc., etc. But the section we want to be looking at is the bulk generate section. So if we click on bulk generate here, we can essentially upload as many articles as we can to this. There is a article limit of 50 and we can also give it the category as well. So this tool can also upload the article through to your website as well. So the next step is to actually generate our articles. So what we will want to do is do this by category um, level. So 
what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab all of the articles that will be going into the cost category. I'll copy these over and paste them into article titles. And then I will change the project name. I'll give it, I don't know, um, a title called cost articles. Then we can select language here. So I'm going to keep it set as English US. So if you leave this as automatic, what it will do is it will go to the actual SERP. So it will search cost of lawyers for K-1 visa. And if the average article length throughout all of our competitors is 2,700 words, it will match the length. What we can also do is add Im images, do not add FAQs, don't fix grammar and readability. A lot of these settings I just keep as is. You can also auto post to WordPress as well here and you can essentially give it the website URL, username, password, category ID, the status that you want the actual post to be published, so draft or publish, and it also if you want a additional custom HTML at the end of the article. Now, what I will be doing for the purpose of this video is I won't be publishing it to the actual website, but I'm just gonna be bulk generating it, and I'm just gonna click generate articles, and we will then be pending until these articles go live. So now that we have generated all, all of our articles, you have two options here. You can obviously download it and upload it straight to the website. There's a lot of guys that do that. Julian Goldie, massive shout out to him. He does that and it works very well. However, one thing that I like to take as well is I will open an editor and I will run this through Grammarly as well and fix any grammar issues as well. As you can see, we are talking about what is a K1 visa and what we essentially want to do is fix any issues that pops up. Again, you don't need to do this. There's a lot of YouTubers that use all blogging without actually doing this step. However, I just like to fix any grammar issues, maybe because I'm a control freak. But again, it's just one step that you can take to make the article just that little bit better. Previously, the actual score was already pretty high it was late 90s we just want to essentially make certain that this article we're giving it the best possible chance that we can essentially get so this is the entire process and now we have fixed all of the grammar issues so basically we don't have any grammar issues anymore and we have made this into a super ai article ready to be uploaded through to our website and it's still seo optimized there's no grammar issues and the article is just that little bit better. So we just want to essentially give this article the best possible chance for it to rank from the word go. And I think that just by running it through Grammarly, Grammarly premiums like $15, $20 a month, I think um, we are essentially turning this AI article to a super powered AI article ready to be uploaded. So that is how I would be doing my articles Again, you don't need to do the Grammarly section. You could essentially just copy and paste this straight into your website. However, I just like to take that one extra step and essentially make that article just that little bit better. That has been the new website SEO case study. If you guys do have any questions, feel free to drop them down below and I will answer them. If you guys want to hire me as an SEO consultant or a free strategy call, make sure to fill out the form on casual at the bottom of the page. Thanks.